welcome back to another episode of Coffee and Careers, the career service blog with me, Anne Duff, the careers manager for the College of Arts. And me, Fiona Stubbs, the careers manager for MVLS. So our subject to discuss today is further study, postgraduate study for, for most of our students that are here. Um, so postgraduate study is a really valid choice, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Fiona, for mm -hmm. a lot of people. I did a postgrad uh, way back in the day in careers guidance. So um, for many people, it is something that you have to do if it's a particular career area that you're going into that requires you to have a particular mm -hmm, vocational mm -hmm. degree. But there are other reasons for people wanting to do uh, postgraduate study. So Fiona, could you maybe talk us through some of those reasons? Students have usually had, or I hope they've had a really positive experience on their undergrad and students just have enjoyed the researching and student life so that they want to continue that into further years. Uh, that's usually the most common reason. And then I think the second reason is the fact that they need it or they've identified it as a, a requirement for the profession that they're really, really looking at. Um, and then the third reason is maybe that the course offers more practical work experience that will help them get into that career and all the added benefits, like it may extend their network, mm -hmm. uh, which will allow them to get into, into a job. So mm -hmm. three main reasons. So they've had to think about it. They see it as an option. They've decided, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, actually, that is something I want to do. So I guess then the next question is, you know, how do you find out about courses? You know, where mm -hmm. do you go to identify the, the, the different options that are out there? There's several ways that you can come at this. You can think about it by geographical area. So for example, you've came to study in Glasgow and you really like it here and you've got a good network and you want to stay here. That's a reason. Another reason could be you want to go to another country, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. another city. You might want to go back home where you come from. So there's lots of different reasons, geographical reasons. Uh, yeah, yeah. So if you have a particular place that you want to go to, you would look at that particular place and you would identify the universities that are within it and then you would connect with them. Yeah. And when you go into every university, you will see a list of courses at undergrad level, and you will see a list of courses at postgrad level. And um, that's the postgrad courses that you're going to be looking at. Check a few sort of, I would call it housekeeping issues. So how, what's the cost of living there? I mean, we all know that London um, is an expensive place to live. Mm -hmm. um, and also maybe the ease of traveling around. If it's got good public transport, that's fantastic. Or can you walk? So look at a few of those things along with your idea to, to live in a certain area, particularly if it's not a familiar yeah, place. Yeah, I completely agree with that. The other way that you can come at it is some people have particular universities that they want to specifically go to. So these might be universities that are particularly strong mm -hmm. in the subject area that you are interested in, you might associate it with prestige, for whatever reason. Um, so if you have a particular university, same as the geographical mm -hmm. area, you just connect with that university, you look at the postgrad courses that they offer, and if you have something that specific, if you have a really specific university that you want to go to, definitely connect with the people on the course um, and let them know that and open up that dialogue with them specifically. Now, the other way that you can do this by subject or occupational area. So let's go back to me doing careers guidance after I graduated from, from my degree. So I realised that I wanted to do careers guidance. So I looked at all of the universities across the UK and Ireland that did a careers guidance postgrad course. And I decided to come here to Glasgow to the University of Strathclyde and never left. <laughs> um, so that's, so mm -hmm. if there's a particular occupational area, you can look at all of the courses that are attached to that. So where will you actually see these um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. lists of courses? So if you remember back to when you applied for your undergraduate course, you used the UCAS directory. Now UCAS does still have some postgrad courses in it, um, but not all postgrad courses. So you also want to be looking at prospects and target jobs. So both of these sites have a directory of postgraduate courses that you can search by all of the above that we discussed, particular university, particular geographical area or particular subject area. Once you have the, uh, identified courses that you're liking the sound of, the first thing that you want to do is you want to get in touch with the people on the course. Ask them a light touch message about, oh, I'm interested in your course, what are you looking for? And big question, is there any funding attached? So Fiona, funding. Mm, it is a big question and that can uh, make or break your decision. For us, I don't think it's wise for us to give you any um, 
information on funding because these things change. So mm. check our career pages and any of the pages from the on the universities or universities website mm. so that you can get current information. Absolutely. So if you go to the Career Service website, you'll see our um, click through of further study. When you go to that, it gives you some information about funding and where the funding comes from. Yeah. It then goes through to the main university pages. Now, there is a benefit to doing a postgrad um, mm -hmm. course here at the university because you get an alumni discount. Um, so that's something that might help your um, thinking around the funding issue. But funding changes all the time. So it's important to always be looking at the most up-to-date information, which you will find on the university web pages under funding. So you have got as far as this mm -hmm. in your thought process. And the next thing is making the application. You want to then get on this course that you've identified. So applications to postgrad courses are generally made um, on a personal statement, the same kind mm -hmm. of thing that you'd have done for your UCAS application, a personal statement that talks through uh, why you want to do this particular course. Sometimes you're asked to additionally upload a CV, and if you're asked to do that, follow for all of our CV writing advice that's on our website. There's a little video there that you can watch. Um, so what do you put in this personal statement? So a strong personal statement will cover reasons for applying, matching yourself to the course both through your academic ability and related and or transferable experience that you have and showing that you are ready to take on further study and have an idea of where it sits in your future plans. Now, I've already said that we have a further study section on our website. If you go into that, again, you will see information on writing your personal statement. And like any application that you're making, we can check this over Absolutely, and give you yeah, a bit of feedback yeah. on it. So in summary, um, let's just go through some of the points that we talked about, Fiona. Be clear in your reasons for wanting to do, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. to do further study. Identify the courses that would suit this intention. Look into the funding possibilities and apply. Um, and we have a middle, Fiona. Do we? Mm. So we have a middle again on the website under further study and it talks you through all of the stages, all of the decision making pieces and where you will get further information. And it's really thorough mm -hmm. and it's a, it's a really, really useful um, tool to use. So thanks once again for tuning into Coffee and Careers today. Um, we hope you've enjoyed it and found it useful. Um, so why don't you check out the rest of the series and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Good luck.